Hi everyone, and welcome back to a brand new vlog. So today is gonna be a half day in the life vlog, but also a little bit of a story time because I think I mentioned in a previous vlog um, that I was gonna let you all know about my hen do, and I've actually had two hen do's. Um, so I'm gonna grab a cup of tea later and chat through it all, share all the photos and videos that I have. And yeah, we'll just do a little bit of a story time. But yeah, it is now midday. I have already been to the dentist and also been into town to drop off a few returns that I needed to drop off. Um, but I'm so happy because my dentist treatment has all finished. I'm so pleased with the end result and I'll actually pop up a before and after so that you can see the difference. Um, yeah, the dentist has just worked wonders and yeah, I'm super, super happy. So yay, all done and all in time for the wedding as well, which is amazing. So I actually got all the work done at Smile Rooms in Windsor and honestly, they are the best dentist ever. Um, my dentist was Dr. Albert and he honestly was so kind and just so amazing, really put me at ease. And yeah, managed to achieve the end result that I just really, really wanted. Um, so yeah, the best experience ever. Um, so if you are looking for a good dentist, I would highly, highly recommend them. Um, but yeah, so I've just done that this morning. Martin is working, he's just having a little bit of food and then I think you're going out for a little walk, aren't you? Mm -hmm. In your break. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have, I've got leftover pizza for lunch. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go make that. So I've just had my lunch, leftover pizza is so good. There's something about cold pizza that is actually better than um, fresh pizza. I don't know why, I just, I just really like it. Um, so yeah, I had some pizza, watched some YouTube and actually have been calling a few estate agents because we are slowly starting the process of looking to buy a property, which is really, really exciting. Um, it's kind of funny because we've decided to do everything <laughs> in the same month, uh, but life just happens like that sometimes. Um, so we are busy with the wedding, but also starting to look at properties. Um, we're not expecting it to happen really fast, um, but we are just starting the process now, which is really, really exciting. Um, so I've been calling a few estate agents and trying to set up a few viewings, although, I mean, everyone warned me that the property market moves fast and it's stressful, um, but literally I will book in to view a property and then the next day or the day of the viewing, I will get an email or a phone call saying that the property has already um, gone, it's been sold or the um, seller doesn't wanna sell the property anymore. And yeah, like every house we try and view, is suddenly not available anymore, <laughs> um, which is a little bit annoying, but I think that's just how these things work. Um, I've heard from a lot of people that that's quite common. So we do actually have one booked in for this evening, uh, which is really exciting. So hopefully that doesn't get canceled um, and then we can go to our first viewing. Uh, won't really be able to film much because obviously it is someone's house um, and there are people living there, so you can't really film uh, but yeah, we'll let you know, let you know what we think. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be a long process. Um, but very, very exciting. It's, it's all happening this month. And yeah, I'm really excited. So Martin has just nipped out for a walk. Um, he does try to head out for a walk whenever he's working from home. Um, just because it's a lot of sitting staring at the laptop. And um, he likes to get out and get a bit of fresh air, which I think is good. Um, but I'm just finishing my tea. I wanted to show you this um, really cute mug. I got it ages ago um, from my friend Ellie and it says prom king and it's like Mickey as if he's heading off to prom. I just think it's so cute. Um, but I wanted to share with you some new headphones that we were very kindly sent from Studio. And if you've watched the channel for a while, you will know that we love Studio products. Um, we have been very lucky and they have worked with us a couple of times on YouTube and Instagram. And we have two 
of their headphones and also a speaker which I believe oh is it behind me where is it so yeah we have the studio I believe it's called Femito Femito I'm not sure how to pronounce it and um, but we have this speaker and which we love it's so so good and then we also have two of their headphones but they got in touch and asked if we wanted to try out um, some new earphones and we jumped to the opportunity because every single product from Studio has been so amazing and I use my Studio headphones all the time. Um, I've got a pink pair of the Studio ETT headphones and they're just amazing. I use them to travel, um, to listen to things as I travel to work. I use them at work if I need to listen to something, to make calls. Um, they're just so, so good and they've lasted so well. I've had them for over a year and a half now and no issues, no problems. So yeah, would highly recommend Studio. So we picked up a new pair of the Studio ETT headphones, which are my favorite pair of headphones from Studio. They come in this amazing case. We went for a matte black color this time, and I just think they look so stylish. I actually asked Martin to um, pick out his favorite color for this pair of earphones, um, and he chose the matte black, and I think it was such a good choice. They look so cool. And then you have the headphones inside, so again, these are matte black as well to match the case. So my favorite feature about these headphones are they fit so well in your ear. I was always, when the Apple AirPods, AirPods came out, I always used to think, hmm, they look really cool, but are they gonna stay in my ear? Um, so I was always a bit iffy about buying wireless headphones. But I have to admit, the studio ones have never ever fallen out of my ears and I use them to walk, I use them to run as well and they just they just stay in your ears, they're really really good. They also come with loads of different um, ear foam sizes um, so you can change them if you would prefer a different size. And then my favourite feature is that this case is not only a case to carry them in but it's also a charging case so you charge up the case and then I believe it has like four or five charges in it so every time that you pop your headphones back into the case they charge so it's so rare that I will pick up the headphones and they won't be charged which I love because I had um, some wireless headphones before and I would always forget to charge them and then it would come to the time where I would want to use them and they wouldn't be charged and that just doesn't happen because the case is always charging them. They're Bluetooth so they can really easily connect to anything uh, Bluetooth and the sound quality is so good. I listen to podcasts and music and both speaking and music sound amazing. So Studio have also very kindly given us a discount code for everyone. So the discount code is SoHelena21, I'll put it on the screen here, but if you use our discount code at the checkout then you will get 15% off any of the earphones, which is incredible. Um, so thank you so much Studio. thank you for sending us those. I know Martin is very, very happy. <laughs> and yeah, if you are looking for earphones or speakers, uh, check out the link in the description box and make sure you use our discount code to get um, lots of money off. So I've just come next door to the kitchen um, because Martin is working away and I'm probably going to natter on for a little while so I don't want to annoy him too much <laughs> um, but I've just poured myself a tango, is it a tango? Yeah, a tango which I haven't had in ages. Mm. And I thought I would just have a drink and chat through, kind of catch you all up to speed. I'm in um, Martin's like office chair. This is the one he got from work, um, but we've got two and I think he prefers the other one or it works better with the um, desk in there. And um, so I feel very official, <laughs> I feel like we're having a meeting. But yeah, I just thought we would have a little chat all about my Hindu and just kind of have a little bit of a wedding update. 
Um, there are only two and a half weeks to go before the wedding, which is crazy. Everyone said this, um, but I felt like it was going really slowly. And then all of a sudden, there are only two weeks left. And it just feels so crazy to think that in two and a half weeks time, we'll be married. The day I'm filming this is actually Monday the 12th. So this is the day that Boris is gonna do his announcement about whether restrictions are gonna be lifted on the 19th. So next Monday, I think his announcement is gonna be at five o'clock today. Um, we're still, we're like quietly confident that he is gonna lift all restrictions because that is what the newspapers have all been saying and it's also what he said last week. Um, but yeah, we are just waiting for the final confirmation. Um, and that will mean that all restrictions will be lifted for the wedding, which will be incredible. And yeah, it will just be so good because it means we can dance, we can have a dance floor. Uh, all the restrictions should be lifted for the ceremony. So I know I said in the last vlog that we weren't allowed to say our own vows and we also weren't allowed to do readings. So that should all be lifted. And yeah, it will just mean that we can have the wedding exactly as we want it, which will be amazing news. But anyway, so on to the Hindu. So I didn't actually vlog the Hindu because I just wanted to enjoy it and I wasn't sure who wanted to be on camera and all of that stuff. Um, so I didn't vlog it, but I did take a lot of photos. So I will insert some as I chat about it. Um, so I found my dress for the Hindu on New Look. I tried on a couple from different sites, um, but then I finally decided on this New Look dress. I'll insert a photo here. It was actually really funny because the morning of my Hindu, I was all ready, I think it was five minutes before I was getting picked up and I leant down and the sleeve of one of the sides actually ripped and snapped, which meant that it turned into like a flowy sleeve because it was tight, um, but the elastic snapped. So I really quickly cut the other elastic on the other side and then I had these like flowy 70s sleeves and it was, um, it actually, I think it looked even better and a lot of people commented on the sleeves as well, saying how much they liked them. So yeah, I wore that, I had some white sandals on, which were also from New Look, and then I actually had a spray tan a couple of days before, because I wanted to test out having a spray tan, because I, I don't really ever have spray tans, I think I've only ever had one other in my life, and I wanted to test it out to see if I wanted it for the wedding. And I really, really, really liked it. But as I um, explained what happened in the Hindu, there was a hot tub and it just completely ruined the tan. And there's gonna be a hot tub in where we're staying the night before the wedding. And I really do wanna like make use of the hot tub. So I don't think I'm gonna have a spray tan. I just think it's a bit too much hassle personally for me. It's a bit too much upkeep. And also it just went a little bit patchy and yeah, I wasn't completely sold. Um, but it was fun to have for the Hindu. Um, so anyway, that was my outfit. And then on the morning of the Hindu, I had no idea what was happening. My friends, like my bridesmaids have been amazing because this is the third Hindu that they had planned. Um, obviously with all the restrictions in place, it had to be changed about three or four times. So they let me know what the first few ideas were. And I think one idea was to go up to London and another idea was to have a weekend away near Brighton, which both would have been incredible. They would have been amazing. But I actually think that because the restrictions are in place, they had to like scale it back. And I actually think I preferred what we did because it was just so chilled. Um, so yeah, I got picked up. Um, I traveled with my mum. We got picked up um, by our friend um, in an amazing um, convertible car. She was playing um, Go Into the Chapel and it was just so much fun. And then we drove to our family friend's house um, and they have an amazing garden. 
and we pulled up and everyone jumped out um surprise and i kind of had an idea who was coming but i wasn't completely sure who was going to be there so it's just so lovely to see so many of my friends and family all in one place and um, so they all jumped out so surprise and then we went through to the garden area and they had de they had decorated it so amazingly it was a mad hatters tea party and um, so they had big long tables with uh, loads of cakes and it was all decorated of course I love Disney so the Mad Hatter's theme was right up my street and I just think it looked amazing and um, they'd gone to so much effort and the detail was just incredible um but yeah we had a mad hatter's tea party we played loads of fun games one of the games we played was where everyone had to write down a funny memory and i also added a nice memory if they wanted um on a sheet of paper then i had to read them out and then i had to guess who had written it so that was really fun and the food was amazing the cakes were so good and then after that we played mr and mrs um so my friend ellie has sent over to martin a list of questions and martin had put together oh sorry i keep uh, bashing this off the glass table uh, martin had put together a mr and mrs game show he did so well i might insert a clip if he still has the video Hi Budge, hope you're having a fabulous day. The reason I'm here is because I was quite recently uh, invited to take part in a very special episode of Mr and Mrs. And because I know how competitive we both are, I decided to say yes, not only on my behalf, but yours as well. So that's what we're doing. We're doing our version of Mr and Mrs. Uh, we're gonna ask some questions, we're both gonna answer, and we're gonna see how well we know each other. So we played that and that was really lovely. And it was also nice just to like have Martin, like even though it was my hen do, it was nice that Martin was still like involved in that way. And he put so much effort into the video. It was so sweet and he, um, we actually got the same score as well, which was a bit creepy. <laughs> um, so we both got 14. Um, so it's meant to be because we both got the same score. We both know each other exactly the same amount. And then we just like drank cocktails, danced. Uh, we played like um, bingo with music. Um, so that got everyone dancing and we took loads and loads and loads of photos. We all had sashes on um, that said different things. So I obviously had bride and then my mum had uh, mother of the bride. And then we had loads of like really funny ones like made of dishonor, designated uh, drunk and hot mess. And we um, acted them out one by one. Um, so I will insert some of them now. Um, so we did like a little mini photo shoot which was so much fun and it's really good because I now have those photos as a memory um, that I can just look back on and I have one where every single person that was there um, so that's really special and what was lovely as well is that my nanny surprised me um, by coming I'd asked my mum and um, my nanny hasn't been very well recently so I really didn't expect her to be able to come and she did she went to the effort she stayed for like a good few hours as well played some of the games and yeah it was really lovely um it was actually quite like overwhelming when she um came in because i wasn't expecting it at all um and got some lovely photos and yeah it's just an amazing memory that she could have been there and yeah so then we basically were just chatting it was really lovely because because it was so chilled it really gave me a chance to like chat to everyone who was there and like spend time with everyone we then had pizza um my friend had uh, brought over a pizza oven so we uh, made our own pizzas and then cooked them in the pizza oven. We also had loads of different cocktails, which were like named after, I think there was a martini and a mini mosa or something. <laughs> um, so they were all like related to Disney and related to me and Martin. And then to top it all off, um, my friend had got a hot tub. So we spent the evening drinking cocktails in the hot tub and yeah, it was honestly perfect if it was the perfect hendu and what was weird is that it was 
kind of because of the restrictions um and I just think it was perfect like I would have chosen that had there not been any restrictions um it was honestly really chilled so lovely to see everyone and it was just such a special day and I was blown away by my bridesmaids and how well they had decorated it and how much detail and thought had gone into everything and yeah I felt really spoiled and special for the day so if any of them are watching <laughs> I've thanked them so many times um but yeah honestly it is a memory that I will remember forever and yeah so that was last weekend and then this weekend I had a couple of friends that couldn't make my actual hen do so like they went above and beyond because they didn't have to do this but they put together a mini hen do for me and um, so I met up with them it was yesterday as I filmed this and we went to Backyard Cinema to see in the heights and my mum came as well which was so lovely and um, so she's been to both of my Hindus and we saw in the heights at Backyard Cinema and it was so good Backyard Cinema is a place that I've wanted to go for so long I've seen so many photos and um, it didn't disappoint if you're looking for like a quirky cinema to go to I would highly recommend checking it out. It's in Wandsworth and they have three or four different bars. So you could literally go for the whole day and have cocktails and food. And then they have, I think they have two different screens. So we were in the Miami beach and it was actually full of sand. <laughs> so we had sand in our shoes like the whole day, um, but it was worth it. And it was just all, I think I've got some pictures and clips that I'll put in, um, but it was just awesome. It was, it really added to the film. And before the um, film started, two of the people working there like did this like crazy dance and they just like lifted the atmosphere and the energy of the room. And I really want to go back. I think we're thinking of going in uh, winter because they do like a Christmas winter wonderland and they show all Christmas films. I have to check actually, see if they show the holiday because that is my favorite film of all time. Oh, I forgot to say as well. My friend, Olivia at The Hen, also got me these amazing glasses. They're from the V&A um, and they are Alice in Wonderland. And then this says the Queen of Hearts and then I've also got the King. And I just think they're awesome. They're amazing. Um, so yeah, we went to see In the Heights. We then went for loads and loads of cocktails. And then we also went for pizza as well. And yeah, we just had the most amazing mini hen do. And it was great because it meant I got to spend time with them as well before the wedding. And yeah, I think that is everything. Up to speed. So next stop is the wedding. I've spoken for 17 minutes, just this segment. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop speaking because this vlog is gonna be way too long. <laughs> so Martin is in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in it. Uh, so Martin finished work and then we quickly jumped in the car and headed to a house viewing. Yes. Our first house viewing ever to buy, I which know. is exciting. Yeah. Uh, it you're, was... you're a lot better at it than me. No, I don't. You, I, got, you I know quick, what I ask. <laughs> I quickly Googled like good house viewing questions to ask. Um, but it, it was... <laughs> it's a little bit awkward to start off with though. I know. So what happened is, I hate when this happens. So the, um, the poor tenant hadn't been told that we were coming. She just thought that people were coming tomorrow. Um, I've had this booked for like a good few days yeah. and um, so bless her she like quickly tried to tidy and she did let us in. She said give me five minutes. Um, I felt bad. I felt bad. But and she, I was really anxious from that point on. <laughs> I know she was really lovely though and like I managed to ask her some questions like about neighbours and things. That is one good thing about if the person who's living there is there. Yeah. She was honest as well. Yeah then you can ask her like a few questions about the area. <laughs> And um, it had some really good points going for it. it. Had it was a good location, kind of half. Mm. Um, it wasn't close to a station. That was our main um, bugbear mm -hmm. about it. But then also there were just little things that we we don't really want somewhere that's going to take a lot of work. 
and there was a couple of issues that we spotted like a little bit of mold and a little bit of um it, it, i don't know just it wasn't it, it would have taken some work to get it to where we'd want but i think it. what's important is we didn't get the feel yeah you didn't when, get the feel it was a really good size though um so it's a good starting point to see and hmm. um, but yeah it's definitely it wasn't the house for us but it was it was good to like go and see our first yeah, first house definitely. exciting but yeah i think we're gonna go grab some food you <laughs> it's all done so we're back home now and i've actually just finished editing this vlog so i edit it all and then realized that i needed to finish it <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one martin's on the floor here why are you on the floor you're comfortable <laughs> you're not just lying on the floor are you okay there yeah Oh no, you made me a tea, I've just remembered. Oh no. Oh, I hope it's not cold. It will be, it was made a while ago. Oh, alright, bye everyone. Doodle Pepsi. <laughs>